right, bro. We can't just go in here and shoot and kill people, bro. This is an office, G. They got cameras everywhere. I'm trying. I'm Aaron. How you doing? So you Aaron? Yeah, I'm Aaron. What you mean? No, I just talked to China. She said the hood Aaron was going to be there, so. Oh, okay. Talk to China. What is that? Do you want to do this in my bro? I thought you were talking about weed or marijuana. What is that? That yeah, cocoa. Say there were a group of multiple individuals wearing blue masks to cover their face. One report stated that at least three gunshots were fired during the incident. Hey, Mike, are you? You just said you didn't have no key. Really? Wait, wait, wait. So you sure ain't nobody followed you? Nobody here? followed me. So it's just whatever, huh? Whatever. Jason, right? Yeah, I know him. That nigga repair is gonna be today. So what you saying? I wanna go through there. Why you wanna go through there? I got a feeling. I got a feeling that Q gonna be there. Straight up. Last time I sent you on a mission, you couldn't bring back the big fish. So what make it so different now? I'm gonna have somebody with me. Somebody I can trust. Last time, Q didn't see me. Well, I think he seen me. But this time, I'm gonna make sure you don't see me because I'm gonna have somebody on the side with me. You gonna have somebody with you? You know I don't mess with new people. I know. But you can trust them, though. You can trust them. I'm telling you. He gonna get the job done for me. Little Rodney, I'm counting on you. Don't mess this up. I got you. And nobody get hurt. Nobody. Nobody in the world. Cause it's on you. That's cool. I'm gonna take care of you. See a nigga like me, gonna get money till I get rich. Fried with a couple hundred cheese and a biscuit. Stay down for whatever, forever hustle with my misfit homes. And soon you go see, just I grow this shit, me once we get rich. Till in it's back to hustling with my misfits. Keep on the creep, feed yourselves tucked under the prone. It's so you go see, just I grow this shit, me once we get rich. Till then it's back to hustle, live with my misfits. Keep on the creep, feed yourselves tucked under the pole. Okay. 
know you. I know you don't want this. But it's over in there. And then no matter how much you beat yourself up, it's not gonna bring Jake in there. Man, like, if everybody found out it was me, I called because it was my fault. Man, everybody gonna look at me, man. And once again, I love Jason, I love brother. What y'all was doing, this was bound to happen. And it's just unfortunate that it did, and I'm glad it wasn't you. But you gonna have to get yourself together. I can't trust this another thing, okay? You did what you have to do. The service is beautiful. You can sit here and stay in the slump and drink yourself away, but your problem is not going to go away. I'm about to run it back to the pool to get everything set up, okay? These people going to be, you need to get yourself together. So.
Like we, we we got we got in a fight. You so his you got into a like a fight at the restaurant. Yes, okay, okay, let me show you. Okay, so you know me, I'm sitting there, I'm eating my food, I'm looking cute. Okay. okay. She comes in and she's ah da 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 da, da David and this that and the third. So I'm who is this person that's very irate? And he's like, oh, I don't know. And it's like, I'm his baby mama and I'm this next. So then she does one of these. She pushes me. Uh -huh. So you know, I punched her like I hit in the ass. Cause see, I don't play. I don't get the L, temp agency. You know, <laughs> the I, don't, temp agency I don't play. Okay. I don't play. So she punched me. After she punched me, well, after I punched her, uh -huh. then you know, she just kind of was like, oh, I think I hit in the ass, something like that. Then Bingo came and then Bingo tried to break it up and then David was holding her back oh, and Bingo was holding me back. And they put us out the restaurant. Then on top of that, I'm telling him like, you know, you need to pay for the pay for the 
take this date. She like, he not paying for nothing. He ain't paying for nothing at all. So I pulled out a lot of money and I smacked him in the face with a stack. You know what I'm saying? I paid for my meal. My meal was only like $20. Okay. I just wait. smacked him in the face with a stack. Cause I don't, you know, I don't play. My bad. I, I guess I keep messing up. I'm sorry. So funny. Who is that? Who are you talking to? I look. I haven't seen okay. you. Can I get my time with you? Gosh, who are you talking to? That was Trey. Remember I told you about Trey? He came to the job trying to get a job. Yeah. Okay. That's him. So why he calling your phone? So now he's talking to the help. So now we're don't dating. do that, China. Don't do that. Trey is not the help. Let me guess. He looked like Corey. Let me guess. He in the streets. I feel like he's being very. Judgmental right now. I'm not. You the don't know anything about him. Oh, what? You frustrate me. The fact that he's coming into the job looking to get employment and you're talking to him? That's not even like you. At least Corey had a little bit of money and some. Girl, don't know. First of all, this has nothing to do with Corey. It Trey, does. Trey That's... came into the agency because he was trying to find a second job. He has a job. Mm -hmm. And I mean, you act like I'm dating him and we together. I'm talking to him. We texting. We having a conversation. Can yeah. I be great? Can that's I? not great. <laughs> what the, that's great? I'm just saying, let me be great. That's what I want to do. Okay, I'm just going to say it. you going to say what? You need to move on. You have to move on off. from Corey. Look, he left you, okay? He got killed. You, you talk to him every day about being out in the streets, and he did not give it up. So he, he failed you, and now you're making the same mistakes by talking to somebody who's looking for a job at your business, your company. I don't get it. It's time for you to move on. I can't see you go down this road. Two years? Come on now. First of all, there's not a time frame on when you need to get over a person. Yeah. I mean, me and Corey was together for six years before he got killed. He didn't just leave me, he was took from me. Because of his lifestyle. What don't you get? Why don't you guys get that? He was taken away because he couldn't grow up to get out the streets. Yeah? Hmm. I'm not gonna just let it go. I'm not gonna move on. I was with Corey for six years. I'm not gonna just act like he doesn't exist. Okay. But in the meantime, if I wanna talk and text with somebody, I don't think that's a problem. It is when he's doing the same thing that Corey did. You're looking for Corey and other men. I don't know why. Let it go. You have to move on because I'm gonna have be here to pick up the slack and listen to these stories. China, I feel like as my best friend, you're supposed to be a little bit more understanding and have a little bit more sympathy about what I went through. Not when you're making the same mistakes. You don't know Trey. Oh, Trey. Well, I do know Trey. I do know him. Little do you know, I know who he is and he's just like Corey. And what, you gonna be crying to me and I gotta keep hooking you up with guys and hearing the same old crap? Okay, Sean, you I need to do let this. him go. I don't want to do you this. You sit down. Do no. not walk away from me. Don't I'm, walk away. I'm not walking away. I just don't feel good. Just, I just want to lay down. My hair hurts. My hair hurts. Did I say something wrong? Well, somebody has to tell. My name is Larry Lucas. I play Omar on the Avenue TV show. A little bit about myself. Um, when I was young, growing up, um, played a lot of basketball in grammar school. Uh, made the team in high school. Uh, my mom had me in church uh, when I was young. She had me doing a lot of little acting and play skits. And coming up, I uh, used to do Christian rap as well. Um, me and my guy Jay Bass, my name was Leviticus. Uh, we traveled around, people flew us out. You know, they loved us, we was doing the Christian rap. Well, my passion for acting, I always wanted to act when I was young. Um, I always told, I even told my mom like when I was young, like I just want to be known wherever I go. Uh, I just want to act, and um, I was sitting back one day flicking through the channels, and um, I seen the TV show on um, Channel 25, and it was called A Reawakening, and uh, I watched it a little bit, and I got the liking it, so, you know, like the next week it came on, I watched it again, and uh, the producer, his name was uh, Dante Fane, and he was saying, oh, you know, he came across, he did a commercial, he was saying he can make you a star, uh, you know, you got what it takes, he's doing the interviews, I mean, not interviews, he, um, doing auditions. So um, come, and do, come do an audition and um, show, us what, show me what you got. So um, I went to the audition and uh, it was like 200 people went out to 200 people. He needed like 34 people. And um, so he had us in the acting, you know, everybody going against each other, you know, everybody trying to make it. 
and um, I was one of the 34 chosen. Hey, before you go in the crib, let me get my cut. I got your cut, but I only got 400. 400? Hold on, let me holler at the taxi. Oh, you only got four, right? Yeah. Why you only got four? Because they at least have five. I know. You know, I'm not used to it. It's my first time. So what you been doing? I mean, I made a lot of deals. Deals? Ain't no deals, bro. You need a family. Right? You, you, you telling me you want money. How you gonna make money by giving deals? You ain't never gonna I thought, I thought if you get deals, you know, because they ain't had no money. So, okay. So I just tried to get out my end. You ain't gonna have no money. I'm just trying to do this for my mama. Alright, you messing up my end and my other people. Like, I have a person like I am to you, I have one of those. No more deals, bro. Oh, make right. I got like eight more in the house. Right. If, if you sell them eight the right way, you're going to have your five thousand. Right. Promise. All right. All right. All right. Yeah, let me get my cut. Hurry up, man. Oh, Calm down. See, what is this? All right, bro. You want to go to my crib? Yeah, I'll go to my crib. I really appreciate it, bro. I got you. Thanks. Love me. I got you, bro. I know. I'm gonna have this money at the end. Promise you. Bye. My name is Reggie. I play Quincy, aka Q, on the Avenue TV series. <laughs> See, I don't like this little word because it's a, I'm, I'm a huge thing. You know, I'm, I'm a huge thing. There's nothing little about me, but I'm gonna start off like this. Um, I never thought about being an actor, you know what I'm saying, until actually I was in the dance world for, for like a, most of my life. I've been in the dance world from footwork until join the other groups to own my own group, you know what I'm saying? And like an inch away from being on America Best Dance Crew. So I started off as a dancer, but I always knew I had talents behind the scenes. Like I used to joke with people all the time and do all the, you know what I'm saying? Do funny things, you know what I'm saying? But in the back of my mind, I always wanted to do my own movie or do, being in some type of TV, I wanted to get in the TV world, you know what I'm saying? So <sighs> I ended up jumping on the real awakening, you know? Um, when I jumped on The Real Awakening, it kind of enhanced my mind a little more to do, to pursue, pursue my dream as being a director and an actor. So, you know what I'm saying? When I did that, I um, ended up starting my, another show along with a, a couple of others named The Weekend. When we did The Weekend, it opened my eyes a little more. Like, I can really do this thing on my own. You know what I'm saying? So, I gave birth to the avenue along with my wonderful partner, Toya, you know? And we're taking this thing by storm. I'm in love with my photos You can get them for the Lolo I'm in love with my photos I'm in love with my photos I'm in love with my photos You can get them for the Lolo Hey I'm in love with my photos So in love with my photos Taking pics and we do it for the low low Say cheese and we shoot like D-Rose Can you in, can you in with my elbows Man, my wrists up so Hey, hey No, but seriously, you'd love them too
What's up? Aaron, man. Man, I'm spitting it. What did you bring the hot lunch for? Bro, we trying to lure her in, bro. That's how you lure her in. Hey, I see, on. man. What you doing here, man? Oh, man, you know I was trying to make funeral arrangements for my cousin. What happened to your cousin? Man, she got shot Trace. I don't eat hot ass, though. We don't eat pepper. It's greasy. Let me get it in. Oh, shit. Police, police, bro. Police. Police. Hurry up, hurry the fuck up. Where I supposed to go? I still got it. I can still get it. Knock it off, yeah. man. You should have been out of number, bro. You got to get your weight up on the camera. No child know this is restricted area. What y'all doing over here, man? What's going on? 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 What's going on